So I'm going to pan on the wood. Yeah, wood up under a pan. Nasi, I am a sugar, but for Ali. Nasi, we are Kuno Sangani, Sumania, and Suiza. So my cancer is a dark pan, my empty is a dark pan, it's near and Zoa Bakuri. Because we are in Zoga and so present, I'm going to ask for no matter more going to shame money. See one Tagaro, Negorira, Dema. So present, Murema Bugio in the Sons of Matama, Yango, Kumira, Gunyar, one in Minibu, Simbis. No tender honorable Kufa honorable Iranu yes. honorable ne urombo ne mashoko atakatambira ne chiti ko chatakatambira ma chain champions ari pano ese anoremekedzwa vapa ku provincial task force yedu vapa ku ma coordinators ari ku different words Emisha Shavari Zue Zunu, Le Muno Mabuku, Vaneita Gutitirire. Dava Kurira Quedu, no quite some chuchu. Yes. Kunema Binya. Yes. Kurira Quedu, no quite some Gutiva. Vapeza Kubama Renika. Vafunga Guta Mara in Abuquana. Boba upeny. Mm. Those are ita kutite chiti kuchinot. Mm. Matonge rwe ni kaase kupokan. Matonge rwe ni kaase shibakira. Mm. Matonge rwe ni kaase makua. Mm. Chero tika nda kumakudo ana kupata se zizi. Mm. Au ani makudo achiro ana zogusi kapa kuvi Ghana. Mm. Asu cha ona dukune vano ita izos. Ndava waka batu kwa ni madimone enyika Asiziwai kundo magumo Maitru wakada ikuoneka Chiti kwe Kubata mfundisi Kuchikora seu Zoperas wakadaro Chokwa dindi no kutaurira imene mene teke ufasi Yes. Ano pesa umamba wasiwan? Yes. Una mwari kudeng. Yes. My turn. Zimbabwe has become totally a banana republic where there is no rule of law, where there is no citizen protection and security, where citizens are subjected to human rights abuses. And what is clear is that these are blatant and brazen crimes against humanity. Uh, we have seen an escalation of these challenges. Um, I mean, for the past year, we have been having challenges. We lost Bonen Nguye. We lost more blessing Ali. We lost one of our comrades in Uganda. We have continued to lose more comrades. 
We nearly lost Ngadzuore. We lost uh, Tnashe, uh, I think in uh, Glenora. No, I can't remember the same. All these are indications of the challenges we have in the country. What is even shocking is that there is not a statement from government to convey condolences, to discourage this kind of tyranny and terror, to try and correct the settings of murder in the context of our politics. So culpability stands at the doorstep of those who are supposed to preside over the state affairs. And then uh, we have not yet seen any conviction uh, of anyone who has been accused. Yeah, I've been talking about conviction. Just a statement from somebody who is masquerading as the leader of a country. Because you are receiving taxpayers' money. You preside over the nation. Even if we are disputed, but you are presiding over fraudulently or criminally. You are presiding over the state affairs. So it's not about parties. There must be a father. This country needs a father. And that's why the people chose us to provide that stewardship and father. But of course, you know what happened with the election. That is the key issue in this country. We have a disputed leadership. We have a disputed government. We have a government that was chosen by the people but not declared. So there is a conundrum that must be fixed. The conflict between the elected government and what was declared. This illegitimacy is what is causing all these problems. There's panic, there's discomfort by those who have grabbed the reins of power because they know that they don't have the mandate of the people. So the only way to correct this is to have a political settlement that will resolve the issues fundamentally and comprehensively. And we've said it. We have said it to the people of Zimbabwe, and that is what is coming from the citizens. And that is what we are going to be pushing for. This matter is only but an indication of the country sliding into further abyss and tyranny. And then you spoke to the family. Uh, what did they say about, uh, about this matter? They are shocked. You can imagine. And even more for the wife, for the children. They didn't expect that this would be the end of their father, the end of their husband, the end of their child, for the case of the parent. But what it tells you is that we have a problem in this country. All these sideshows that are created, how, how do you have a whole country that is no hospital medicines, no books in the schools, civil servants have no money, you have five million just to throw into a hole in a by-election that you know that you have created. This is not, you can talk about Chabangu or Pabangu, that name. But that's not, he's not the guy. The real issue, as I said, the real menu creator, the one who is creating all this, is Mr. Munangapo. He is the one who is at the center of it. Why? Because he would not have acquiesced into this thing, rushing to declare an election. When you know that it's a criminal act, what he has done through Chabangu. You don't just wake up and look at the man in the street and say, no, he is the one who is uh, interim. Interim from where? Who elected you? Who chose you to be interim for what? And you even go to the courts and then, oh, you know, the courts agree with us. It can only happen in a banana republic. But more importantly, it can only happen in a country where the writing is on the wall for those who preside over it. Not just trying the courts. Look, the records are criminal and fraudulent. History records. We have stated and we will continue to state it. We will fight all those records. We will fight all these illegalities. Of course, the courts have their own limitations, but we will make sure that we leave no stone unturned. We are doing everything within our power politically, diplomatically, but also even legally to make sure that we exhaust this matter. There is no need for by elections to be conducted in this country. You are going to take part in the election. Look, that's a decision that is going to be pronounced once we have had our meetings. We are having meetings very soon. In fact, we are supposed to meet this week. But because we want to honor our change champion, we couldn't hold this meeting in the context of money. So we have postponed and we are going to have a meeting just to be able to articulate the way forward in the country. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.